150 heads of state, 45,000 participants. One goal, to reach a universal climate accord. The United Nations Climate Change Conference, or COP21, opened this week in Paris. We have never faced such a test. A political momentum like this may not come again. But neither have we encountered uh, such a great opportunity at this time. Negotiators now have two weeks to turn the action plan submitted ahead of the conference into a unified course. agreement. The 1st of December is World AIDS Day. It's an opportunity to raise awareness, remember those who have died, and celebrate victories such as increased access to drugs and prevention services. So far, the United Nations has reached nearly 16 million people with life-saving testing and treatment. But the UN program on HIV AIDS, UN AIDS, says there is still much work to be done, especially if the world wants to reach the goal of ending the epidemic by 2030. It's estimated that nearly half of the 36.9 million people living with HIV worldwide still do not know that they have the virus. Speaking at UN headquarters in New York, the director of the New York office of UN AIDS emphasized that the process was ongoing. World AIDS Day is an important moment to take stock, uh, an opportunity to reflect on the challenges that face us today and those that lie ahead, and an opportunity for the uh, world to recommit to um, ending this disease um, uh, uh, by 2030, as articulated in the uh, Sustainable Development Goal. This is no time for triumphalism. It's no time for complacency. AIDS is not over. Um, the job is not yet finished. The United Nations is urging the world not to discriminate against refugees and migrants. Ongoing conflicts in the Middle East has meant over 800,000 refugees have arrived in Europe alone. And, says the Secretary General, they need our help. Closed doors and discrimination are worsening the plight of forcibly displaced people across the world. I'm especially concerned about misplaced suspicions about migrants and refugees and widespread anti-Muslim discrimination and bigotry. But along with support and protection, says UNICEF, refugees urgently need something more basic, help to survive the winter. So far we're lucky that the European winter has been mild, uh, but of course that is changing now. And this is so much more than just about warm clothes, baby socks and blankets. It's really about giving children a sense of stability and protection after all they've been through.